Look at this capacitor. Looks punctured. Well, the only way that could happen is if the cat bit it. And I can assure you the cat did bite it because it's not the first time he has bitten things. Electronic things. I don't know why he does that. But I'm just kind of curious if this thing still works. So let me plug it in to something here to hold it for me. And put the meter on it and see what's going on. Well, this is not what the video is about. Just something to do here. I have a bunch of audio test files uploaded. People were asking me if, if I could do that. So I've done that. Let's see if I can get this in the shot. I'll just have to go like that. Okay, let's see if I can get a measurement here. Ten microfarads on the nose. So I guess he didn't puncture all the way through the can because it's been that, like that for a few months. So it's not drying out any. Anyhow, let me show you how to download the audio test files. Okay, I launched the browser in private mode so it doesn't load the cookies or, you know, log you in automatically on like YouTube and sites. So it's just like I'm another person out there browsing. And I'll put the link in there. The link will be in the description below so you can just click on that. But I have to do it this way. And there it is. So it comes up this way and it shows as a little tile and if you want to download the file just go to the little download button here and go through the motions so here's all the files I have I have the 1 kilohertz test tone with the built-in 4.5 kilohertz 1% pilot signal same thing with a half a percent 0.3 0.2 and 0.1% pilot signal and I made all of those because I used it to test my oscilloscope in that one video to see how low I could view the signal the pilot signal but you probably would be most interested in the 1% one I also have a 7 plus 8 kilohertz intermodulation distortion test a 10 to 100 sweep, a 20 to 20 kilohertz sweep, and a fixed plus sweep intermodulation test signal. These are all WAV files. They're completely distortion free. Um, they're going to have minimal noise, you know, below, well below uh, minus 100 dB. As long as the device you play it on is low distortion and low noise, you'll have excellent test files to use here. I must warn you though, do not play these. Do not click on them and play them because they're recorded at the highest possible digital level before clipping. So they will be very loud. So I'm just warning you there. Also, don't convert them into MP3 once you get them because MP3 might damage some of the integrity of the file. You want to keep them as WAV. They are lossless, uncompressed WAV files right now. So there you go. That's how you can download these test files that some people have been asking about. Okay, now we'll go on to the little amplifier test without filter capacitors to see what it sounds like. Okay, so I have a little circuit hooked up here. Power transformer, rectifier, dual supply, no filter caps. And the wires come around here 
into the LM 1875 amplifier. Now this is just for fun, just an experiment. And it kind of shows you what it's like in older equipment when the filter capacitors dry up. I did do another video about selecting the size of the filter cap and how it improves output power when you use a larger size. Of course that works to a certain extent. But anyway, everything's ready to roll here. Power it up. So we get a nice hum. So let's try to play some music through it. Well, that sounds lovely. And my battery's about to quit, so I'll be right back. Okay, new battery in the camera. Well, at least a charged battery. So we'll add 10 microfarads of capacitance to the supply here. And, uh, well, let's do it with the power on. Get this the right way around so they don't go bang. Can't see what I'm doing. Oh, that got loud. And for the negative rail, sounds worse. Okay, let's try music. Whoa. Heck, that made it worse. I do have these in, right, I hope? It looks like they're in. Okay, well, let's try a little bit higher value, see what happens. Okay, I popped in some 33 microfarad caps and we'll power it up. It is on, wow. That's pretty quiet. And a little bit of hum. Let's see what it sounds like. I just will not be there. I'll take you through my dreams. Out into the dark. Sounds better, but it gets real crackly when the music gets loud. So let's increase our value some more okay i went for broke and popped in some 100 microfarad caps on the filter let's power it up oh it already is powered up it's very quiet now maybe the faintest hum these amps are very good at rejecting power supply noise to an extent. I mean, if your filter caps are way too small, it's not going to do it. But let's try the music now. Okay, well, it sounds pretty good, actually. Of course, 
like I demonstrated in the other video, because of the high ripple on the power supply rails when you're drawing heavy current, it will cause you to clip earlier. So the smaller caps are not going to give you a lot of output. But it does show that the amplifier will work with very low rail supply caps. Now it depends on the architecture of the amplifier. There are some types that will have a lot of hum unless they're well filtered. But in this case, sounds pretty good. Well, that was a fun experiment. What's going to happen here with the John Audio Tech video? What do I have in store? Well, first I would like to say thanks for everybody watching and subscribing and all that good stuff. About to hit 10,000 subscribers, so that's a pretty big milestone for my little John Audio Tech channel here. As far as upcoming videos go, I want to do a series on how amplifiers work starting with the early transformer coupled designs and progress the way through to newer designs. And in each video I will actually build an amplifier and demonstrate it. Also plan to do some more chip amp tests and test some of those little boards. I haven't done many of those lately, but I want to get a couple in here and test them out. Of course, there'll be my usual random electronic subject, which could involve anything from LEDs to chips or microcontrollers. But I do hope you hang out and see what I have in store. Well, that's it for this. Thanks for watching.